Bonjour mes amis, welcome to another you and I play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily. Who have we got? Uh, Judas? This is going to be interesting. Judas of course starts with 1 HP and a nerfed Book of Belial. So, this Book of Belial no longer gives us a guaranteed deal with the devil like it used to, apparently. I don't know whether it gives us an increased chance or whether it just doesn't have that effect. But I think it's still a pretty decent item. This would have been a much better place to have used it, I freely admit. Help. Help. Please don't die on the daily. Like this. Not like this. No, no, no. Okay, I think we're reasonably free from danger. <laughs> I hate these um, spider webs on the ground because they slow me down in unexpected ways and <laughs> I can't, my brain just won't deal with it. Whew. Well, we made it through the difficult bit. I would like to maybe not die, but we don't have an option, so this will probably kill us right here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know whether Deal with the Devil is going to be a thing for Judas anymore. We really need to get rid of these things that are creating spiders, but at the same time, I don't want to aggro too many actual spiders. We are doing a decent amount of damage, but... That thing tried to get us from all the way across the room, did you see? What a fucking dick. Right. Here we go. There's only one of these left. We haven't died. I would very much like some HP. No. Uh, this long room is probably best since we have the... Ah, uh, again, I probably should not have used it just now. Uh, probably a terrible misplay, because I bet the next room is horrendously difficult. Full health? Infested? Well, we either die now or we don't die at all. Let's try not to do that annoying thing where a pin fucking dips you about. Why are coat hanger tears up? That's pretty decent. I'm <laughs> my heart's in my throat at the moment. You know, we've been running around on half an HP for how long now? And it's not like we can fly, we don't have the benefit of the loss, so I'm very concerned that we're gonna die on this very floor before we can find the HP, you know, the, the red heart drop that fixes everything for us. Uh, please don't shoot me. I'm going to take this if I want it, which I do. Uh, maybe not. Maybe something else. No, it's space where I am. Oh, shit. Now we have to decide whether we want to do another room or not. Please don't shoot me. Trying to find a penny in this fire. Let's maybe re-roll that again. I don't think Charm Tears is worth it. Oh, you dick. It's not like we can explode or anything. Should be okay. If we're careful. And there's plenty of poop on this floor. Full health. 48 hour energy. Well, <laughs> too little too late, but okay. Another penny. Very ideal. Oh, <gasps> Everybody breathe out with me. Please reroll. You fucking dick. Alright. Well, we don't want Anarchist Cookbook. That should be apparent to anybody who's played this game before. To anybody who hasn't, I've just had an idea. This is probably a silly idea. We're very slow. Almost certainly not making boss rush, that's for sure. We'll put this here. And... No. I was hoping that it would explode near the... The wall over here. To find a secret room. Also, I've noticed that troll bombs don't have the same fuse uh, in afterbirth, in rebirth. They did. So if you stepped out of a room, stepped back into a room, they'd all go off at the same time and they wouldn't interact with each other. It's a very handy way of sort of cheesing it without having to figure out where exactly to stand. Okay, we're on the basement. I would like, you know, some sort of survivability. This might be a good time to use this, actually. For once, don't think that was a misplay. I don't like these things either. Um, I'm neither a fan of the corn flies that crop, pop up like this, nor the fact that these Ipecac things exist. We did get a bomb. And hopefully, this will allow us to reap the benefits of a tinted drop before too long. Because we do need more survivability. We, <laughs> we managed to survive. The previous floor, the skin of our teeth, quite frankly. 
Um, I don't think I played particularly badly or particularly well, it's just that we were lucky on the runes that we did have to face with half a heart, that it wasn't the dangerous sort of runes that cost us half a heart. Which we know exists because we obviously were cost half a heart in the first place. When did we fucking split? There we go. Okay, good. We should definitely shoot the poop. It's probably worthwhile and our tier stat is really good. So we've got some HP on the ground, so we can not threat damage too much, but what we have to think about is the deal with the devil. Uh, which is guaranteed on this floor because it's always guaranteed on the second floor as long as you don't take any damage. Join the floor. You would uh, not do all the things you're doing and just die. Okay, good. I uh, don't think that will be something we want to keep, but we might take it to see if we can maybe find a secret room here. Not there. I don't know why I looked there. It was just, yeah, it was a bit of a crapshoot. I haven't mentioned, by the way, that we do need to go down to what looks like Satan. So we need to beat Satan on this run. Which means we'll be going... To, well, I think we'll always have an opportunity to do boss rush, actually, so... That's not relevant, but... We should go faster, is what I'm saying. It's nice to be on the basement, of course. Uh, <laughs> the cellar is a place where it's very easy to take damage, but the basement is a, a lot simpler, I think. Yarrow. Yeah, we'll keep hold of the Yarrow room for now. This money is nice, it may give us the opportunity to go into a shop, buy a spirit heart for this boss fight, which is probably where I'm most likely to take damage on this floor. There are some semi-nasty bosses on the basement, sort of, just to troll you when you think you're doing well. So if we can find the shop and go into it. We need to find the item room as well, to be honest, and we do get points for exploring, so we should do our due diligence in that respect. I don't know how they behave. I took damage. However, this is probably the worst time to have taken damage because there's our spirit heart to prevent it. Uh, we will keep going. We want to find our item room. I would like to have not taken damage to a corn fly, but I, I, I still can't predict them, if I'm being honest. I don't know how they work. I, I can't get into their heads, man. We'll heal up. So we'll check our item room and then we probably won't go to the shop. Notwithstanding the fact that we don't have any keys. We got our spirit heart for free. And I'm not going to spend my spirit heart on getting something as bullshit as Mom's Bra, especially since our spacebar item, which is obviously Book of the Lyle, is considerably better than Mom's, heart, Mom's Bra already. Right. Just don't charge. Charge. I think it does two, yeah. So the first time we played this dingle, sort of naturally, you see. It does crop up uh, in boss rush. Uh, range upgrade might be worth it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's worth it or not. I took it. We didn't find a secret room. I was hoping the secret room might get us into the curse room, but of course, looking at where I tried, it was a bit of a silly thing to do. Because it wasn't next to the curse room. Uh, not, not a fan. Not a fan. Okay. These do actually damage everything on the room. So that's nice. But not for long. But it <laughs> damages them permanently, but it doesn't confuse them for very long, I suppose I should say. As long as you're orthogonal to those, you don't need to worry about being hit. That was a bit of a difficult place to be. I probably should have stopped shooting and got into a better position and started again. Not quite at that stage of the game yet. Of my, of my uh, not quite that skill level of Isaac to know when to stop shooting, you know? It's just a case of barrage through everything and hope for the best at the moment. I think this is going to be a fairly long daily. I very much do not expect that we're going to be able to do boss rush. Judging by the fact we're you know, halfway through time and not halfway through the floors. In fact, we're very much not halfway through the floors if you take into account the fact the floors get longer. So. We'll uh, get rid of that. Son of a bitch, we'll get rid of that. Turned into that, did you? Okay, okay. Our bomb is nice. Uh, yeah, we'll go here now. We've got our book of Belial already. I'm going to use it. This is not uh, a hugely difficult room, but it's, it's a long, long in terms of time if you don't have the extra damage. Which we don't, because I don't think we picked up a damage upgrade yet. Although the tears upgrade from um, the coat hanger is a decent DPS upgrade. One of the better ones, I think. 
please. Thank you. There's a second key. We could go into the shop just there. I think maybe if we get more coins, it would be worthwhile. Uh, you've got the soul effect, have you? Okay. 48 hour energy is pretty decent. But we want to keep our yellow rune, so we're probably going to be looking to use 48 hour energy on this floor. Which we do need to continue exploring, because we haven't found our item room. I think we found our shop. It could be a library. I uh, chose not to go in it. Good. Do we need to speed up for the points? Yes. We did get a deal with the devil on this floor. Uh, now here's a tissue. A, a tissue. Here's an issue. I want to take these, but we will probably die. I'm going to take this. This will probably uh, be the worst mistake I've ever made. There's our yellow in there. We should probably use that 40 hour energy pill straight away. But I'm going to go in here and hope for the best at least. What a play. Right. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about it on the very off chance that it didn't happen. But it did. Uh, we should check in here. Mm. If we can get a teleport. I'd be even happier to take that. So I'm going to try that. Although, it may not be a great idea. That was good. I'm very much a fan of Little Brimstone in all situations. Especially ones where we have long enemies that... The sun. Hmm. I'm going to come in here with the sun card. It'll get rid of one of the waves of enemies for me. There we go. Thank you. This one. <laughs> in fact, probably my least favourite. So we've got Little Brimstone for long long range damage, we've got Mom's Knife for basically the May damage, I suppose. But also Mom's Knife. Mom's Knife. It's not take nearly as long to charge up as Little Brimstone does. And we can see that the secret room is here, thanks to the sun card. Doesn't tell us about our... Okay. <laughs> Super secret room. But it also tells us that we don't need to go any further than that room. We'll go down to our item room, see what we win. There's a strong chance we won't... Oh, hello. You do exist. Strong chance we won't take it. Thank you. And you have to, uh. You definitely have to wait for them to explode. The alternative could be devastating. Ooh, this is nice. A hanged man, not much use right here. Two of spades we will just use because we're about to go into that room. And the world card, unfortunately, is not much good. Well. Oh, hello, it flies. Decent, actually. We will save that. Costs us 30 points, but it should save us some, some damage, which I'm hoping amounts to at least 30. I don't want to go anywhere else, actually. Let's not explore any further. I know exploration um, is rewarded, because you get 10 points for going into each room, but I think it would probably cost us more than 10 points to go into them and then come back. Let's just use that. 48 hour energy. You can go back in there if you want to kill yourself on getting the Necronomicon. No. I think I made the right play, but it was very lucky. Curse of the Blind means we will probably not want to risk uh, picking up whatever item is in the item room. Then again, we may want to. Uh, it could be terrible for us, but it could win us the run. We'll see it here. I don't think... Yeah, it's not likely. A boss trap room has to have a very strong value proposition. If it's just going to be a question mark on a pedestal anyway, I don't think there's going to be a strong value pro proposition on this floor with this curse. So we'll work our way up here. I, I wouldn't have liked to be able to have taken both the sun card, uh, both the yellow room and the world card so that we don't have to waste time on this floor finding our way. Since it's a curse of the blind floor, I'm not entirely concerned with uh getting to all our places. You know, the shop isn't going to be very valuable for us. Excuse me? Pretty sure I hit you there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I made it. Very good. Having to deal with those individually is non-ideal. Ah, worked that one out well. Well, we found the shop. We've only got two cents, so I'm not going to go in it. Yep. <laughs> it's a common misplay. I keep using that term, but I keep doing that thing, so you'll have to bear with me. It is a common thing to do to go into the shop and then realise you haven't got any coins. Starting to learn about that? Addicted. Oh dear. I what that does. Presumably it makes us take pills. 
we don't want to say, or like without an option. Little Brimstone's going to be great here. Hooray! We will fight our boss now. Again, I don't want to go to the ice room because I'm not going to pick it up. So, I, I don't care what it is, is what I'm saying. That was really good. I will take this thing. Uh, it's little Chad, I knew that would be the case. And I also knew we wouldn't be able to take this, now I think about it, so... Where are you? Hang on. I did get a key though, that's nice. I was hoping to have maybe picked up some more HP, but I didn't lose any, so... You know. You win some, you lose some. Right, no, no curse on this floor, so... We'll properly explore it. Mom's knife is just tearing through these fuckers. Pardon my French. But, you know, start as you mean to go on. That was a, a, a cunning reference to the fact that I introduced this video in French. But didn't think to say pardon my French at the time, so I'm trying to sort of make up for it. Now. We, we really need to improve our survivability. <laughs> we haven't had any spirit heart drops. We haven't had any HP upgrades. We might have done if we'd gone to the item room and gambled on it, but I, I decided to just skip it. Uh, you were there, you, you know this. I think I'll just melee that. There we go. Nope, we'll keep going down. Maybe worth this? I don't know how much difference this makes. If we can uh, please break these before they attack us. We're playing okay today, actually. I have had a bit of a warm up. I was playing. Um, Greed mode is Eve. I, do I want this? I think it's damage and HP, so I kind of do. Yeah. The HP upgrade is nice, because it gives us devil fodder, if nothing else. Uh, excuse me. Please. I wonder whether that actually gave me more cash than it took in points to get hit. Not that I appreciate getting hit, just saying. Uh, that's no good. Let's try and pop some of these and see if we can get something decent. I know we have an infested pill in our rotation, but... I haven't got it, so <laughs> who needs the poops? Am I right? Who's with me? Yeah, pop, pop the poops. Which is, sounds like the worst for microwave, which is pop de ping. Pop de ping, everybody. True story, look at it. I think it's because the uh, Welsh for oven is pop de or something similar. As a result, it's a ping oven. There's probably a real Welsh word, like uh, something that means microwaves. But... Okay, this could be good for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into this room. We're going to make sure we don't die on it. Which happened. <laughs> Somehow. We'll try and the ladies, I think. And I think that tried to solve me, and then we'll step here, and then that bomb should be in the perfect position. It is, and we've got Exactly what I wanted. I can breathe a bit better. I uh, don't fancy this very much. Okay, they always fire three, which is nice to know because that's a new enemy for me. Always fire three. We can't get to that, but we do have seven keys, so if we find out a way of, get of being able to get to that, I should like to get to that. Uh, oh, there's a spider, is there? Okay. If you say so. I do, I do. I was pleased to have got rid of that one in the middle first just now, because that can be a right bastard. Uh, what are we on? Depths 1? Yeah, we should fight the boss now. Loki, you say. I'm trying to uh, get the knife to stay on Loki as long as possible, but... Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. I will take this. I'm worried about our survivability. We don't have anything that benefits from not having HP. We don't have the Horror of Babylon. We're not Eve. We haven't picked it up from the Devil Deal, which, you know, being fair, <laughs> I fucked up on the first floor. So we could easily have got a Devil Deal with Horror of Babylon in it. We've got 15 cents, so it's uh, worth going in here, I was going to say. But instead, we just fought Greed. Got the Steam Sale, which cost us 30 points, but whatever. It will save us points on the next actual shop with an actual option. I note, and you should too, I didn't use my Book of Belial on that Loki fight. Now, that means that I am doing enough damage that I forget that I have the Book of... Oh, let's not go in there then. That I forget that I have the Book of Belial, which is a lot of damage to be doing. 
but also you have to consider that the Book of Belial is usually considered a very valuable item. So, if I have it and I'm not using it, I should probably consider replacing it. So if we can get a, a space bar item that will actually benefit us, for example, I, I actually don't know. Um, anything that causes us to be able to fly, maybe? Is there such a thing? The Bible? There is such a thing. The Bible might actually be good for us because it would mean we could get those extra consumables and avoid creeping things. Can this thing please fuck right off? Thank you. Uh, or maybe... What am I thinking of? You know, the um, unicorn's horn? That could be valuable as well. I'm not going to go any further down on that than that, and I'm going to actually pick this up and keep it. Having little Chad does allow us to play that quite considerably, so that's a good source of points, if nothing else. Perhaps the shop will be valuable too. Of course, we did just pick up Steam Sale. Steam Sale, so being able to go to the shop would be probably sensible. I need to stop taking this damage, of course. Um, I, I would like to not die. Where'd this guy at? Come on. Come on. Drop. Drop down. It's going to be the one that I hate, isn't it? Yes. But I did manage to totally own it on the way down with bombs. Uh, There's a ten bombs. Mm, big whoop. It's actually going to cost us more than 10 bombs worth of uh, points to pick that thing up, so I'm not going to. That was very helpful that that one was destroyable. And I will go in here as well, even though oh, it's ultra green. Okay, dokie. Okay. This is a case of standstill, I think. Right, so this will cost us points. Does it give us the points? It did actually give us several hundred points, so maybe 10 bombs I'm wrong about as well. In which case, I'll go and get them because I would like them. If I can find. Um, uh, a tinted block as a result of the that's going to be extremely useful. So that score went up, so that was a good option, in my opinion. You die, thank you. Having a little brimstone to just add to the damage that we deal on as soon as we enter the floor is just very valuable uh, in, in, in any situation, I think. Especially for me, because I'm not very good at this. Pretty fly. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue to not die. Uh, with leisure. Now this is the mom fight, so... And we have just about missed boss rush, which is... Well, I did predict it. Um, we didn't really get very strong to begin with, but I don't think I want to deal with the rest of the floor. So uh, I'm not gonna... Mom's knife, of course, against mom herself. Reasonably strong. The melee damage is... Excellent. If you can get anything that does contact damage, uh, like an orbital, for example, uh, you're sitting pretty. We can take either of these. I'm going to take this. Uh, it's probably Krampus. Yeah. Might yet be worth it. Uh, I'm not holding this down long enough to get a little brimstone to help out. It's okay. And this is actually a space for item that we're probably going to use. So I will take it. More than I'm going to take Book of Belial. Why? Book of Belial gives us a damage upgrade, which is great, but we have not got tears. We've got Mom's knife, which uh, is not in and of itself a problem, but I find that the benefit to Mom's knife for me is more that I can do a lot of damage very quickly, despite the fact I find it more difficult to hit things. Okay, so this is probably a good example of what I was about to say, which is that if we can hit a lot of things, on one room very quickly. It's going to be more beneficial than having to go around surgically striking them with Mom's knife, which is you know, not not even a twisted metaphor. It is. Uh, we'll take this now. That seems good. A surgical knife strike is, <laughs> is, I think, it's a pretty common thing to say. So, I would like to not be here. It's too late. Wow, I couldn't figure out how to deal with that room with Mom's knife. See, this is the sort of thing. Uh, normally, you would use the knockback from tears or, you know, just try to beat the crap out of them before they get close to you. Or maybe do something smart like use, you know, the fucking Krampus' head that you just recharged. Dingus. But these are scents are worth picking up. Um... Yeah, that, that, that's the sort of room where I sort of, I lose faith in myself because I've, 
I've not necessarily done this thing too many times, this mom's knife thing. In fact, a lot of the time I would have avoided it because I didn't understand how to use it. Which I still kind of don't. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm a mom's knife expert right now or anything. But I feel like I'm slightly better at it. I don't know if we want flight at this stage. Oh, it's really difficult. I'm going to say no because I don't want to spend the points. I just want to go down to the next floor. I want to beat mom's heart. I want to get to shoal. So we can't go in there then, apparently. Uh, I would like a little brimstone to help out right now. Okay, I didn't help. It didn't happen. This is one of those... Uh, I died. It's one of those situations where I just don't know how to use Mom's knife, because normally you'd use tears for knockback. You know, you'd use little brimstone to do damage whilst your tears are pushing them away from you, but Mom's knife, it's just... Where do I stand? If it doesn't kill them instantly, you're fucked. I probably should have gone back and pick up that battery charge on the previous floor. Anyway, 2,308th with... I didn't see how much time was left on the daily at the start, actually. I normally mention that. But I did say the other week, maybe we can get up to 3,000th. 2,308th, even though I died and didn't get all the way. It's probably a pretty decent score. So, thank you for watching. We are improving. Uh, come back next time, tomorrow. See you then.